A traffic alert to tell you about at this hour. All lanes going eastbound are closed on I-3990. County M are closed in the Janesville area. State Patrol says that stretch in Rock County is closed due to a crash. We'll keep you updated as we get more information. There is an old saying that there is strength in numbers and in the fight against cancer, that is definitely important. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow when the Badgers take on Rutgers, 80,000 fans will be asked to join that fight. Dave Delosier joins us from the UW band practice this afternoon. <laughs> Hope you can hear us, Dave. Hey, I can, Eric and Susan. You know, it, 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 you, we all know how iconic the UW band and its director, Mike LaCrone, are. Where they lead, an awful lot of us aren't likely to follow. And this year, once again, they are marching towards a cure. We have season tickets, and this is our fifth year of having season tickets. And Caitlin Jacobson and her husband Nate know what it's like when more than 80,000 people all come together. Everybody there is just having a blast and jumping around. But this past July, as their first wedding anniversary approached, life changed. Caitlin, just 29 years old, was diagnosed with brain cancer. Eight hours of surgery has been followed by 27 days of radiation treatment. And I could see how it'd be really easy to lose your you know, like positive attitude and if you felt alone and didn't feel like you had anybody there supporting you. But Caitlin has been anything but alone. Her husband has been with her every step of the way, along with friends, family, and an army of doctors and nurses at UW Health. It's phenomenally important. Um, knowing that there's support. Today is a big day. Caitlin's radiation treatment is finally coming to an end. And tomorrow, we'll show add 260 more people that are supporting her. One, two, ready, the UW band led by Mike LaCrone will perform at halftime of the Badger Rutgers game. They call it Band Together to Beat Cancer. Cancer, I don't know of anybody in the band that, that hasn't had someone in the family, immediate or at least close family, affected by it. I know I have personally, and I think when it hits that close to home always, if somebody comes to you and say, we think we, you could help, that we want to help, and I think that's just the bottom line on it all. Through the buttons they'll wear, the band will make a statement, and the sale of those buttons will help to fund cancer research. And for Caitlin, who will be there? That means a lot. I guess it means like there's people behind us and are trying to do research and find ways to beat cancer and that there's support behind us. Now these buttons will be for sale tomorrow starting at 8.30 at Union South for a donation. And those donations will go directly to Carbone Cancer Center. You can also get, if you're not able to make it to the game tomorrow, you can also get one of these buttons by going online to uwhealth.org slash beat cancer. Certainly a very worthy cause and if you can help, please do. Oh, one thing I want to point out to you before I let you go is the band members are all dressed for Halloween today. Yeah. We're having that. a good time down here. Boy, get your hands on those buttons, folks. Great story, Dave. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dave.